the graphic world was very interesting to me. So uh, I decided that maybe I should push or develop my ideas in graphics. So abstract and graphics came together and I was involved in, let's say, emotional art. And I did things like you see on the screen, I, I made abstract uh, music scores or whatever you want to call it, visual music. And the problem was that in abstract art, when you develop something, you have to be lucky because you have no concept in a sense. You have to try and make an essay, make five, ten drawings, and maybe one of it is good. So, so that bothered me since the beginning. Because for music, I knew if I have an idea, I can write it down in music notation, I can plan what I'm doing. And I always had this dream, if I only could do my art with the idea that I know what I'm doing before I start. And that wasn't possible. But then at one point I got uh, the literature of Max Benze, a philosopher in Stuttgart, Germany, in my hands, you know, and I started reading. He was a, an art critic and a philosopher who talked about art as a way of representing the world in our days. And he his idea was to make a a very rational art. So that sort of hit my interest. Of course, a rational art would be interesting, but, but what is rational? <laughs> I had no idea what rational could look like. So what I did at the time, I was doing works like this. It was sort of the space of sound, you know, where, where I developed uh, the idea of Anton Weber, who, who was sort of my hero in 12-tone music. The space, which I rep represented here, let's say in black, and there are little sound things in space, which make beep, bop, 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 bop. And that was my idea of rationality. <laughs> but of course it wasn't rational. And I started thinking, if I now develop these forms in a geometric way, maybe that is rational. So you can see slowly these little forms became more and more geometric until they were completely geometric. And there was no accident anymore. I could plan it beforehand. I had like a library of forms which I moved around and cut out in paper and moved it on the surface of a 